Everyone, please welcome to our show. Joining us via Skype for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview is Lyric Bent. Hello, Lyric. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It is so great to have you here with us this morning. We're all decked out, ready for the holidays, and congratulations on your new movie, An Ice Wine Christmas. It's the first up for the 2021 slate of uh, Lifetime holiday movies. Yes, that's uh, that's exactly right. Um, we're, we're excited for this one. Um, we shot it about a year ago, and then, you know, it was all backed up with the COVID uh, scheduling. So um, we're excited for it coming out um, and, and starting out the season this year. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you play Declan in an ice wine Christmas. In the movie, we will learn the importance of preserving the magic of Christmas in a bottle. Kind of talk with us about that. Well, yeah, I mean, um, Declan is really, uh, he's just a straight guy, stickler. He's just um, about business and he's not very, um, he's not very versed on this holiday. So mm -hmm. um, he's, he's asked to basically come and help um, run a, a winery. And um, the owner of that winery, he's, uh, he's definitely um, um, believing in my skills and, and abilities because he's about to retire. And so the method in which he uses will no longer be available. So he has to bring in the, the, the traditional, um, or not necessarily traditional, but uh, mm -hmm. the scientific method, uh, making sure that they can harvest and, and make this incredible ice wine, which they've been making for the last 20 years. So um, yeah, I come in to do that. And uh, Rosalind Sanchez, who plays uh, my, my other side, my other half, she, yeah. uh, she wants to keep the tradition of um, how Henry does things. And um, she's not too thrilled of me being there. And she, <laughs> she opens up, um, she opens up Declan's eyes in terms mm -hmm. of tradition and Christmas and what that's all about. It's definitely a beautiful story. I think a lot of the fans that love these Christmas movies will fall in love with this one. Now, Lyric, as so many are starting to decorate early this year with their Christmas decor because, you know, Lifetime's getting ready to release their slate of Christmas movies. You know, are you big in getting out the tree before Thanksgiving? <laughs> because I feel like nowadays everyone is popping the tree up right after Halloween. <laughs> Right after Halloween, yeah, I, I I usually wait until after Thanksgiving because of one reason, one one reason only. And that's because I like to use uh, I like the live trees, real trees, and if you get them too early, they start to fall apart on you before Christmas mm -hmm. even gets there, and it's just it's just a hassle trying to keep the place clean with these you know uh, needles falling off all the time, and even though you do what's necessary to to keep it you know uh, lush. Mm -hmm. I try to get it just after um, Thanksgiving, maybe after the first week of December, so That's that I have idea. a nice, fresh, green tree throughout the holidays. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, you know, the, the fake trees, uh, even though Declan is like, yeah, you know, we throw up a fake tree and, <laughs> you know, I, I, prefer, I prefer a real tree. Uh, yeah, you know what? I would have a real tree probably, but I'm allergic to uh, it's something about the tree that I'm allergic to. So we all we have artificial. Oh, are you? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I know, isn't that that's a that's a bummer. Yeah, that's, anyway, that's a bummer. <laughs> um, speaking of Christmas, what's one of your most fondest Christmas memories that you had growing up as a child? Like, did your family, you know, let you have that magic of believing in Santa Claus? Um, well, you know. Um, oh, look at you. <laughs> you know, just getting into the spirit of this uh, interview. My fondest memories really is um, hanging out with family that I've not seen throughout the year and just having cousins and relatives coming to the house and and just, you know, cooking up a lot of food and, you know, traditional drinks and mm. music and just telling stories of, you know, when, you know, remember when stories type of thing that's what i that's what i enjoy the most and, and actually remember you know uh growing up is is those moments are those moments where you know you just it's just it's like painting memories or reliving memories and they feel so real and yeah. so true so yeah that, that that's what i like most about christmas mm -hmm. food food family and friends me too me too i love that we can all gather our family together at least once out of the year 
and be grateful and thankful and just, you know, kind yeah. of just share all those holiday memories that we have inside us. And by the way, I like your festive uh, Santa hat that you got on. It looks so well, festive. If I knew that you were gonna you were gonna wear a Santa hat, I could have brought mine out. But you <laughs> yeah, come on, stop it, Noah. Look at you. You got a whole space there decked out. Allow me to have my hat. <laughs> you you got the the, the nutcrack. You got everything going on over there. <laughs> Do we have a nutcrack? Oh you my goodness! Go we got the fake snow of it all, lyric. Ah, oh, we got the, we got the snow. You got a tree. The lights is yeah. that mailbox coming for the North Pole? You got yes. Go. And there's a little something in it too. You know, just yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. I know that we, we talk about wine, but I'm thinking yours is a little stronger. <laughs> See, there, Actually, there, there might be some wine in here for the movie. Who knows? Who yeah, knows, well, Derek? You know. Who knows what that gifts. sent from the North gifts. Pole? Oh. <laughs> Is that cider you're drinking? <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Now, Lyric, I do want to ask you lastly, um, what is the big takeaway you want the fans that love these Christmas, you know, diehard Christmas fans that love the holiday movies, what, what is something you want them to take away from an ice wine Christmas? I want people to take away the... The, the understanding of mm -hmm. what the holiday is all about and remembering what's important and not get lost in all of the other stuff that we can tend to get lost in. Um, just remembering what is it, what's important, you know, Absolutely. and whatever that is, uh, you know, I'm not going to state, I don't want to lead anybody into what that should be for them, but right. this, this movie is, is to do that. Whatever that is for you is to remember uh, the important things in life, not to take it for granted. And when you see it, embrace it and know what it is so that it could enrich your life moving forward. Absolutely. That's what that's what I would like people to get from this movie. Because very, it's very well all said. Yeah, yes, all very, very well said, Lyric. Tune in to an Ice Wine Christmas to catch Lyric Bent and Rosalind Sanchez in this fantastic movie. It premieres November the 12th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of it's a wonderful lifetime. Lyric Bent, thank you for your time and for speaking with us, and you have a great and happy holiday. Thank you very much for having me, and Merry Christmas to you, your family, and everyone over there at Lifetime TV. Thank you. Same to you. Take care. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. How fantastic was Lyric Bent? Well, we have another star from an Ice Wine Christmas. She is here joining us virtually. Anna Maria. Hello, Anna. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh my goodness, it is so great to have you here. By the way, you look fantastic, lovely on the virtual. Oh, same, same. You're all Christmassy. I love it. <laughs> yes, we have the snow. We got everything. It's just a wonderful lifetime. See what I did there? Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, Anna, I want to get your take on this. Share with us the overall premise of an ice wine Christmas in your own words. Yeah. Um, the ice wine Christmas is about... Um, me and my family own an ice wine we had for a very long time. This is where we make ice wine, which mm -hmm. is an intensive process, by the way. Um, and uh, this, I have an older sister, and she lives in Chicago, and she comes back into town and goes back into the regular traditions that we do, which is like creating the ice wine, there's a Christmas festival and then we celebrate Christmas as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she comes back from the city and thinking she's just going to stay for a little bit and go back to get like her, go back to her city life and love might just show up unexpectedly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we will see what happens when we watch this weekend yeah. on Lifetime. So tell our audience about the character you play in the holiday movie as you play Rosalind Sanchez's sister. That's right. Um, I play this character named Beth, and I'm her younger sister who lives in the city. I love this character because she's such a multitasker, and that's sort of who I am in real life. I'm always mm -hmm. taking care of many things at once, and I think that's a I think a lot of women do that, especially with families, right? Like if you have kids, um, I have a, a kid of my own. So this character, I just kind of dove into because you're always doing more than one thing at the same time. Right. But I am in charge of like, you know, making sure the ice, well, we get the, the right timing of the ice wine and you know, the Christmas festival that's happening and then the Christmas holidays. Uh, festivities that we got going on and of course I'm married and I'm um, wanting to start my own family so the I 
am navigating that kind of life and trying to balance and keep myself sort of sane while my sister comes into town and um, and she's always been the one that's been really good to predict sort of how the ice wine is created. So she's a, a, a huge asset to this process. Um, yeah, so that's my character. And I play alongside Rosalind, who's an amazing actress. And I was so, so grateful to work alongside her as well as Lyric. He's awesome too. He's such a great actor. Yes. Oh, indeed. Now, Anna Maria, this movie will kick off Lifetime's holiday slate of movies for 2021. What do you want the viewers to take away from this movie? Um, I think that the first and foremost is the balance of work life and family. Being like being around family for the holidays. I know Thanksgiving's coming up in in um in the states as well, but also Christmas and that balance. I think. You know, this movie will really portray that, what matters most, you know, family, friends, yeah. and fun. <laughs> well, once again, be sure to catch an Ice Wine Christmas. It premieres Friday, November the 12th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime, and it is indeed. Anna Maria, you take care and have a great and happy holiday. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Have a good yes, one. Yes, you holidays. too. <laughs>